Hey guys, Vlad Kulikov here. I'm a Sambo Judo and Submission Grappling Instructor here at Soul Fighters in Brewster, New York. And I would like to introduce you to Kettlebell. Hey guys, in case you don't know what Kettlebell is, this is Kettlebell, right? As you see the way it's shaped, the handle is over the weight. Therefore, anytime you swing or do any kind of ballistic exercises, you always feel the ill effects of gravity tenfold, so to speak. And that's the beauty of a kettlebell versus any other uh, lifting equipment. The first exercise is one of the most basic exercises called the swing, okay? And guys, remember, uh, you can isolate legs or arms, but for, you know, majority of lifts will include your entire body. That's another beautiful thing about kettlebells. So we're gonna grab it like this, we're gonna have our, uh, uh, feet to shoulder width apart or so just like that okay we're gonna hinge at our waist and we're gonna explode remember arms are only for holding my power source is not my shoulders or my arms it's my hips you see how I'm projecting my hip force forward and I want to elevate kettlebell in front of my chest or my face something like that okay once again arms are for holding hips are for moving and that's how you develop your core. And you can do this exercise anywhere, in the beginning or in the end of the workout. Me personally, because it's the simplest one, I do it as a warm up. Okay guys, next one is snatch and it's by far my personal favorite, okay? Uh, very good for grapplers, it develops your hips, your core, your arms and your grip strength, okay? Uh, technique is very important, pay attention. So what I want to do, once it's hanging, once again power source is my hips, I want to swing it between my legs and I want to explode with my hips like this, just like such. Then descend the bell and do it again. Please note. Uh, the very end of the exercise. Common mistake for people that don't know how to do a snatch, they do it like this and watch kettlebell is gonna smash my wrist. So in the beginning when you lift a, a light bell it's not a big deal but progressively as it gets heavier if you do it like that you will feel the pain. So what you want to do in the third quarter of execution you want to flip your wrist so you want to get to the bell before bell gets to you just like such. Pay attention. Oop right there so virtually there is no impact i mean there is contact with my wrist but there is no strike just like such and this is your kettlebell snatch Okay guys, next exercise is called long cycle. You can do it with one bell or two bells. And uh, I would like to uh, show you and emphasize uh, stress attention on a couple very important basics. So long cycle is done like this. You swing and you catch it like this, okay? So you clean it. And this position is called rack, okay? I just rack the bell. Common mistake for people that don't know what they're doing, they either A, flare their elbow like this, or they rest it on their shoulder, which is easier. Rack position, especially with two bells, is almost like a boxing stance. You wanna have your hand here, you don't wanna wrist bend this way, you see how I curl it in, and my elbow is tucked in, okay? So that's the rack position. That's my rest position. I'm kinda of hipping in a little bit, okay? I'm not direct, I'm slightly, my hips are slightly forward. And then, depending on what you're working, strength versus endurance, you can either hip it a little bit, or jerk it, or you can strict military press. And there is no trade-off. If you jerk it, you're gonna get more tired due to winding, being winded. And if you press it, you're gonna get more tired simply due to workload. So the whole exercise with one bell looks like this. Rack, jerk, back to rack, hand catch it on a rebound, boom. Back to rack, jerk, back to rack, swing. And if you want, like I said, you can military press it to target uh, strength in your shoulders and you can do it with two bells and this is actually kettlebell sport giddy boy sport is an official sport in russia you can get ranked and all and uh, this is one of the exercises you're supposed to perform in competition
Okay guys, this lesson will conclude our three exercises, swings, snatches and long cycle. Do not rush them. Learn the technique and even if you know the technique, this is not for speed, okay guys? You perform the exercises uh, at the, with medium tempo to get stronger and I hope they will uh, help you to get stronger and uh, more durable.